everyone. My name is Wei Sun, and I'm happy to be in the first Beneficial AGI Summit that's taking place in Panama City in February 27th to March 1st. Um, today, I'd like to talk about the new Silk Road, China's quest for AGI. To start every presentation for the past that I'm talking about AI, i like to quote Alan Turing on this. The view that machines cannot give rise to surprises is due, I believe, to a fallacy to which philosophers and the mathematicians are particularly subject. I love this quote, well, because first of all, it, Alan Turing presents this uh, visionary view on the potential of the machine intelligence. And the second of all, I think he's very aware of the limiting belief that uh, human beings tend to have about machine intelligence. So first, let's take a look at what has changed in the 2023. I remember six, seven years ago when Ben and I uh, was visiting universities, institutions, or enterprises talking about the term AGI, which is the term that Ben first coined. Um, people don't hear that often, and they didn't believe it. They didn't think it, it, it could ever come. And uh, but let's take a look at what happens in 2023 after the chat GPT rise. And then if you look at the Google search trends for artificial general intelligence, you can see a spike on the search results, which means the word AGI goes mainstream. And also AI scholars drastically advance their AGI arrival forecast by how many years? 13 years, according to a paper published in January 2024 on the top left thousands of AI authors on the future of AGI. So that is an amazing paper. I highly recommend it, you know, people to read it. Um, and also there's some media's reporting on the artificial general intelligence and the singularity may arrive within seven years. And also the CEO of Google's DeepMind to say that, you know, we might be just a few years away from AGI. And so is Elon Musk. So it's amazing how, Things change so fast, and uh, let's zoom in to China. As I pr promised Ben to talk more about the China's active pursuit on the AI and the AGI. So for the past year, I recognize that there are over a dozen conferences uh, with the theme dedicated to AGI in happening in China, and also there are more than eighty large language models, um, you know, al already existing within the year. Um, as we all know, the new uh, generation artificial intelligence uh, development plan was initiated by 20, in 2017, um, which highlights the strategic focus on the AI advancements um, for the year between 2018 and 2022. There are 850 AGI related papers published, amazingly including the brain machine interface uh, in China. Uh, Chinese government has been actively funding the research efforts within the academic institutions, including the Tsinghua University and the Peking University. And Beijing is suggested as a hub for the AGI development. If we talk about China's quest for AGI, in my view, there are uh, multi-path explorations. First of all, the explorations for cognitive sharing through brain-machine interface. Um, it is a very advanced area in terms of neuroscience and how to incorporate the technology of AI to do that. And the China initiated the China Brain Project in 2019, and it's a well, it's a longer than five year project, and to uh, advocate and also inspire such a related research. And also, tech giants are competing in the arena of multimodality models uh, since the rise of the ChatGPT. For the 2023 alone, Baidu's Ernie bot, Alibaba's M6, and also Tencent's multimodal research have caught a lot of attention and spotlights internationally. And these are the efforts that have been shown that China has been pursuing this uh, large language models and the potential of it actively. Um, there are AI startups flourished for the past year and a couple of years by leveraging the open source large language models. Um, a lot of them are uh, casting their power on the uh, Meta's Llama, for example, the Kai Fuli's new AI unicorn company, which is called 01.ai, and its large language model, E. 
34B, which is a 34 billion parameter large language models fine-tuned on Meta's Llama. And it's been on the top of the leaderboard in terms of performance in hugging phase. Uh, robotics development is emphasized by the government. Um, one example is the General Secretary Xi inspected this robot automation company, which shows a strong signal on the government's focus on robotics. And as many of you know, there's a lot of competitive, uh, competitive advantage for China also comes from data collections and usage. There are massive data sets to be um, labeled, examined, and uh, analyzed in order to do that. Of course, there are some impacts on the global economic and the geopolitical dynamics. And I think the impacts are huge. Um, for example, in the global economics, um, as we all know, the AGI developments is poised to revolutionize various sectors. A lot of sectors and industries will be transformed with such technology. A lot of new industry will emerge as a result of it. And China has obtained this strong ability to commercialize AI and AGI related uh, technologies because the market is such a, a application driven or application specific uh, power. Um, also in turn, uh, that foster a new source of economic growth and the competitiveness in global scale. And the potential of doing that is paramount. In terms of geopolitical dynamics, um, many countries, including China, are competing the global uh, leadership in technology. And uh, think of the huge, hugely untapped market in China. Um, and the market can be leveraged by the power of AI and AGI. That has a huge impact on the global labor markets as well. And it has, it's, will be very influential on international standards and ethics. In fact, China has been actively participating in the UN conference discussing the international standards and ethics of AI, hoping to bring its own point of view and contributing to um, such area globally. Digital sovereignty and the geopolitical fractures will, have a, will be a very highly sensitive uh, measure and um, well, the access to and the control of uh, cross-border data flows will be um, one of the important subjects to discuss among the governments, especially since the EU has initiated its AI Act earlier this year. Its uh, control of the data flows and how it's lever leveraged the uh, risk-based uh, models to implement such a safe and a secure AI practices will have a huge impact in the cross-border collaboration between the EU and China as well. So in my opinion, there are a lot of key points for cross-border collaboration. And in terms of the importance of the collaboration, it will be tremendously um, impactful in terms of uh, you know, global partnerships and also industrial um, advancements and uh, creativities. Uh, first, uh, it's to minimize the potential for misunderstanding. As I see that personally, there are very limited access and uh, sometimes biased viewpoints in terms of China's develop developments in AI. And to minimize the potential for misunderstanding will help the rest of the world and China to forge a common ground to how to develop the AI ethically. And of course, that including foster dialogue to address shared challenges as AI has this uh, nature of black box and uh, hallucinations and uh, such shared challenges will be better addressed by foster a common constant communications and the dialogues among the governments and also industries and application scenarios. And that's in turn calls for the responsible developments of all the AI related uh, advancements and the global governments, uh, governance of AI generative data. As China recently, um, for the past few years, deployed this policy to watermarking all the AI generated data as one of the policies to control the government's uh, governance. And as the technique of doing the governance, uh, you know, advanced, 
um, China needs to be in constant discussion with the rest of the world to see what are the best, uh, timely, and effective approach to address that issue. And I, I think the key for cross-border collaboration, uh, collaborations will be constantly evolving and it will be a constantly um, changing topic, but it's very important for China's quest for the AGI. And thank you. I hope you have a great time in the conference. So China's quest to, for AGI and this new Silk Road will be long and, ro uh, and rocky. And, uh, but I hope that it will lead to a better connection to the rest of the world, especially to the West, and also for the better of the humanity. Thank you all.